Watch sign is off. We should be able to find some under the bridge. Jim Dean and Rich Menzel walk the streets and alleys of Snohomish County in search of the people so many turn a blind eye to. It's the right thing to do to get a sense of where our community is. Being in and out of the hospital, diabetic. There are people like Susan, a 63-year-old domestic violence survivor with multiple health issues. Brings me to tears. This should not be in America. Last year's point in time count found nearly 1,200 people, an 8.5% increase from the year before and the highest since 2012. We just continue to struggle to have enough resources. Susan Christ is a supervisor for Snohomish County's Department of Human Services. She says there are a lot of reasons the homeless count is expected to rise once again. We've had a lot of people that were affected by the pandemic, a lot of people that faced evictions, got behind in their rent. It's been a real issue. A lot of the COVID money has stopped, and so a lot of people have really faced a lot of hardship. But work is being done to address the problem. Construction is underway on this new drug and mental health facility, doubling the number of beds available in Everett from 16 to 32. It's expected to treat 1,500 people per year. The project is the second phase of a Compass Health Plan, which also added 82 supportive housing units right next door. Snohomish County recently used COVID funding to purchase two motels that will act as transitional housing, and a program is underway that connects people on the street with navigators who help them connect with services. I am trying to try and to find some uh, food. For Jim and Rich, they just want to make sure that for at least one day, the homeless people of Snohomish County will be seen. I mean, the best thing anybody can do for someone who's homeless right now is just recognize they're there. Say hello to them, look them in the eye. The annual point in time count is used to determine which communities get funding to treat homelessness and how much. In Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.